I am going to walk you through how to do number one on the homework. Um, so that way you have an idea how to do the other three. So going back to what we just did, you're just going to plug in three as your input. So the reason why we have this middle column here is that's just for your work. And then um, the Y value is obviously gonna be for your answer. So we plug in three squared plus two times three minus eight. So this will be nine plus six, which is 15 minus eight is seven. Then we plug in two. Two squared plus two times two minus eight. So two squared is four plus four is eight minus eight is zero. <clears throat> Then we plug in zero. Zero squared plus two times zero minus eight. So zero plus zero minus eight, which is negative eight. Then we plug in negative one. Negative one squared plus two times negative one minus eight. Negative one squared is one minus two minus eight. So one minus two is negative one minus eight is negative nine. So, so far we haven't really seen any pattern yet. So we'll keep going. Negative two squared plus two times negative two minus eight. So negative two squared is four. Two times negative two is negative four. So four minus four is zero. Minus eight is negative eight. So what just happened is we saw a switch, meaning we have a negative eight and then again a negative eight, which means this right here is your vertex. So we can plug in negative three, but some of you might already have a guess of what it is, but we'll make sure. Negative three squared plus two times negative three minus eight. So negative three squared is nine minus six would be um, three. And then three minus eight would be negative five. So, I don't know if you guys notice, but the reason why it's probably not zero is because we went from zero to two right here. So you have to be careful because sometimes we will trick you. All right, then you plug in negative four. Negative four squared plus two times negative four minus eight. So negative four squared is 16 minus eight minus eight would be zero. So um, we're gonna just graph what we can fit. So we have three seven is not gonna fit, so we, weren't, we won't worry about that. Two zero is gonna be on the graph. Zero negative eight is on there. Negative one, negative nine we can fit. Uh, we know that it will be also negative two, negative eight. We have negative three, negative five, so we can guess that this will also match that. And then lastly, we have negative four, zero. All right, so you should have something like that. All right, so the x-intercepts are where it crosses the x-axis, which are right here and here, but you can also look at the chart where you see where y is equal to zero. So we can see that's here, in here. So for the x-intercepts, we would write 2 comma 0 and negative 4 comma 0. And then for the y-intercept, it's where it crosses the y-axis. So we can see that it crosses the y-axis when x is 0. So when x is 0, y is negative 8. So the y-intercept is 0, negative 8. So you can either look at the graph or you can look back at your chart. So one other thing that we need to do is what I just circled up here, which is put it in factored form. So what we're going to do is factor x squared plus 2x minus 8. I'm just going to go ahead and go down here. So x squared plus 2x minus 8. So we should be pros at factoring by now. So we're going to go ahead and put x squared in the first box, negative 8 in the last box. So we make our x. We put negative 8x squared, because that's the product of the diagonal. We put 2x at the bottom. We need two numbers that multiply to negative 8, but add to 2. So that will be 4x and negative 2x. And then we put those in the boxes. 
and we come up with the edges. So we have x, x, x times 4, x minus 2. All right. So, um, and then 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So factored form would be x plus 4 and x minus 2. So just, again, I want us to notice the relationship between these factors and then the x-intercepts. All right, so for the homework, you guys will be completing number 2, 3, and 4, and you should have a pretty good idea. So you're going to follow the example of what we just did for number 1.